Here is a museum quality carved rhyolite plaque paleo story stone face and mammoth effigy found on the surface of the Calico Hills, Mojave Desert, California. This is unbelievably done marvelously when it comes to uh, beautiful carving. What we have is a baby mammoth with its trunk here. That's all been flaked out there and smoothed. The eye of the baby mammoth has been gouged and smoothed, and all the hair tuft above the head has been beautifully flaked all the way there and the back of the mammoth coming down here. This is a purple rhyolite, beautiful rhyolite, but this has been patinated orange because this has been the side that's been uh, face down for about 12,000 to 25,000 years. Um, and the iron-rich soil of the Pleistocene Lake Manic shoreline uh, stains the, uh, the stone, this uh, beautiful uh, rust-colored, orange-colored uh, patina. The other side will be the darker black um, desert varnish patina as it was laid face up. Now, this is an excellent carving for being on the face down side of this, <clears throat> of this effigy because they usually would have the best carving face up. These were left as an offering and they wanted the best impression of the mammoth and the faces left face up. Uh, interestingly, also, in all the story stones I've seen on the surface in the Calico Hills, Jasper Hill, Harvard Hill, and many other locations around Pleistocene Lake Mannix, uh, they're undisturbed. Uh, they were there for thousands of years. They, they, the people were making them when they first came into America some 25, 26,000 years ago, all the way up through Clovis until the mammoth actually died out. And then this tradition that goes back 3.3 million years to Homo habilis uh, finally came to an end. But this mammoth is, uh, they don't, uh, the, when these are laid as offerings, they're untouched. Later, peoples do not pick them up and flake them out as knives or points or anything else. They just leave them and they leave them undamaged and unaltered uh, on the surface. They do not do any reworking. Like the Maya did a lot of reworking with their jades. Uh, the Olmec did some reworking, but the, the, the Paleo-Indians, uh, I found no evidence whatsoever of any reworking. Now, what we have here is the tail of the mammoth here. This leg, hind leg, stout leg, by the way, has been purposefully flaked here. This area right here, that's, that's all been flaked out there. Mm -hmm. several flakes were removed to form this leg. And then we have this front leg here. So we have the tail, the back leg, and then the front leg of the baby mammoth facing left. Beautiful carving, Out outstanding carving, museum quality. And then when we hold it this way, now we have another great mammoth image now facing off to the right. Big sweeping trunk right here its eyes up here, and also the more immature mammoth would be the eye here. But facing off to the right, just another outstanding mammoth image. And then when we hold it this way, now we have the old, stout, uh, big bull mammoth with his big hair tuft up here and his, his eye right in here with his brow above it and his big trunk sweeping down to the, to the right. We have a face with this, the eye and the mouth, nose and mouth facing off to the left this way. That's a face looking off from the back of this mammoth. And it's wearing a hat. This is kind of a, a hat that that face would be wearing. Kind of almost a skeletal type looking face. What a beautiful carving. Then when we turn it over, oh my goodness, uh, this is outstanding workmanship here. This eye, if you look at it in the right light, this has all been engraved. This is like a petroglyph that's been all pecked. That eye has all been engraved. And this shaman horn has all been grooved and engraved. And we have a face here with this, the eye, and also an eye here, a nose and a mouth, with wearing a shaman headdress, a shaman horn. 
Check it out. Here's the headband engraved across there. All these lines, you can see them. They've all been etched, pecked into the surface to form that face image with the horned shaman here. This horned shaman, this is the horn here. And here's the eye, and that's an eye too. So we have two actual eyes. This is the younger one, this is the older one, and it even has eyelashes and, and things coming away from that eye. It's got like lashes going up and lashes. This has all been engraved, unbelievable. This is the side that was laid face up. So they wanted the best side of the best carving laid face up, and boy, oh boy, did they do a job on that. Unbelievable. That's the mammoth facing left, and that's its eye. But when you view the face like this, that's the horn shaman of the face looking up this way. Unreal how they engrave that. Now, that's weather-worn. <clears throat> 12,000 years ago, be much crisper. This has been weathered big time, so it's not quite as as prominent as it could be, but that horn has been carved in there for the face right there. <laughs> That's the eye of the mammoth facing left right now and could also be used as an eye of a face looking up from the back of the mammoth. And then when we turn it this way, now we have another outstanding mammoth here. Uh, th this one now is facing right. This is the baby mammoth with its trunk right over here. So a great mammoth image there. And then we have yet another older mammoth with its big sweeping trunk, big sweeping trunk here, eye up here, even some banding it looks like there. Carved into that. Look at all that carving. It reminds me, <clears throat> it reminds me of Olmec carving, and yet this is Paleo-Indian. Here's the eye of the mammoth, the big sweeping trunk. That's the old mammoth. This is the big eye and the face looking up this way. What an outstanding, outstanding <clears throat> paleo story stone. Carved, etched, and pecked, grooved into this rhyolite plaque, forming fantastic face imagery of a horned shaman face wonderful face, one of the finest faces I've ever seen engraved in Paleolithic stone from the hills found on the surface of the Calico Hills, Mojave Desert, California.